is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we're back with a brand new wwe action figure ranking video and this one's pretty exciting because we're doing one of my favorite superstars man we are diving into kevin owens yes we have the beast kevin owens right here man really excited gonna be at the royal rumble taking on logan paul and i will be there at the royal rumble so if you guys are going to the royal rumble definitely uh, be on the lookout man i don't know what the hell i'm gonna wear yet probably my jersey of some kind or something i don't know but if you guys see me at the royal rumble be sure to speak and whatnot but i'm very excited for that because i love kevin owens i think it's going to be a good showing. Hopefully, he'll win the championship and whatnot, man. But nonetheless, today, we're going to be diving into his figures. And also, if you guys would like to rank on what superstars we actually do in these videos, these are voted on by my patron army over there on Patreon. So, a huge shout-out to those guys over there. They get to vote on these videos. And it was kind of crazy. I want to say that Kevin Owens won by a few votes. And it kind of blew me away because the Hulk Hogan was on the list. Stone Cold Steve Austin was on the list. And so, you know, I put up four superstars each time. And Kevin Owens won the vote, man. So, here we are today, man. We got some good figures and you may not think oh Kevin Owens doesn't have that many figures but he actually does have 12 different elites and if if the rumors are true and the rumor mill is hot right now that he is going to be in the next Ultimate Edition wave in Ultimate Edition Series 21 so I guess we'll have to see about that man but today we are going to be diving into the Kevin Owens figures man and also we're going to go through our little ranking system over here of course at the at the top we have go buy it if I put a figure in go buy it that does mean that you need it in your collection you should add it to your collection it's just you know it's a great figure whatever you want to say, man. If I put it there, I am putting my stamp on it and saying, yeah, you need this figure. Next up, we have good figure. That pretty much means that I would understand if you had it in your collection. It's not absolutely 100% need, but it's it's understandable. I'm like, yeah, I would I, I would grab that figure. It's a solid figure. Under that, we have meh, which means it's like ne not necessarily a good figure. It's not necessarily bad. It's just really, maybe it's just very bland. Maybe it's very mid, you could say, you know, things of that nature. So meh is the middle category. It's kind of not hot, not cold. It's just very lukewarm. Under that, neat that, we do have barely acceptable, which usually means you have one redeeming quality about you. Maybe it's a head sculpt. Maybe it's, you know, you feel good in hand, but the rest of you is trash. All the different things about that, that is barely acceptable. It means you have one thing about you keeping you from the bottom tier, which is going to be garbage, which is pretty much just, I don't want you in the collection. You shouldn't have it in your collection. You shouldn't even think about having it in your collection. It is the worst of the worst. It's completely skippable. Don't even look at it is pretty much what that means, man. But nonetheless, let's shut the hell up. Let's dive into ranking these Kevin Owens figures, and we're going to take you through the lore of each individual one. And we are starting things off with one of his most recent figures. We have the Elite 101 Kevin Owens. Now, this is the one that's kind of a two-in-one. You can pretty much make two different versions. It comes with two interchangeable head sculpts, and it is his rivalry with Stone Cold Steve Austin. I say rivalry like it wasn't just one match and a bunch of promos, but Kevin Owens battling Stone Cold Steve Austin, a dream match for me. If you're a massive Stone Cold Steve Austin and Kevin Owens fan like me, then I would say this is must-have. It's so cool to have this mixture of eras, but I would put this in good figure. I think it's a solid figure. I don't think it's must-have, you know. I think, you know, it, it is cool that it's like KO Mania, and it kind of honors that matchup that they had there at Mania that was a great matchup, what have you. Comes with the Austin 316 shirt, comes with the bald makeup head sculpt or what have you, but I don't know. I would put that in good figure. I don't think it's necessarily needed, to be honest with you, but let's go on to our next one, which is his first Elite ever, and that is Elite 43 Kevin Owens, man. I gotta be real. This, this one right here, man, I can't stand in this figure and it's kind of sad because from the neck down it's an okay figure I think the arms are oversized I mean this is elite 43 so you know it is give or take I remember the day I ordered this the day I ordered this figure is the day that I bought the barricade set and a bunch of things to put in the MDT arena before we ever started so that's kind of what I think about when I think of this figure but I also think about how much I dislike it because I hate this figure I don't like the head sculpt I don't like the arm size and the head sculpt just really takes me out of it I've never thought it looked like Kevin Owens I think it's very bummy I'm gonna put it in barely acceptable I think the arms are way too damn big and I think the head sculpt's just awful so outside of that you know it's a solid figure you can pose around pretty good and whatnot I like the gear it's just a, it's a very bland gear but it's solid you know it's a good NXT version of Kevin Owens right when he comes up to the main roster but I went with barely acceptable on that one next up we have elite 47 Kevin Owens I think for me this one is very meh I don't t particularly care for this one I think that it, there's better figures out there it's very mid it's a little bit too skinny to be honest with you this and the elite 43 weren't as hefty as his later figures 
figures. And I guess you could say that is on par, like he may have gotten a little heavier over time, but I don't think so. I think they were making him a little bit too lean there. It did come with the Universal Championship, which was awesome. And I want to say that was the first time we ever saw the Universal Championship in the red color from Mattel, if I'm not mistaken. It was, ve it was very close, if I'm not mistaken, but did come with a little table there and everything, the fight wins fight. It's just, it's just not the best. It, it had a better head sculpt than the Elite 43. It was a solid addition, but very mad. I, I just wouldn't go back and get this one. There's really no point in it, so I'm going with Matt on that one. Next up is Elite 53 Kevin Owens, one that, oh my god. Next up, we are diving into Elite 53 Kevin Owens, which is a really good figure. I'm gonna put this one in good figure. Love the gear, right? The Kevin Owens show gear is very just, I don't know, nostalgic at this point, which is kind of crazy. It's it's very, it, I mean, it's not very old, but it's definitely, it's getting up there, man. I mean, it is older. When I think of the Kevin Owens show, I think of the just year-long great rivalry of KO and Jericho, which should have main evented WrestleMania. It should have been for the Universal Championship and whatnot, but you know, they had to, <laughs> they had to give us the garbage. But yeah, I, I like this. I like this attire. I like this gear. I think it's a good figure. Solid head sculpt, all the different things. I do believe they did beef him up a little bit here. Arms are still way too damn big, but I think the Elite 53 Kevin Owens, that's pretty money. I like the Elite 53 Kevin Owens. As a big Kevin Owens guy, I like that one right there. I can stand for that. Next up, we have the Elite 61 Kevin Owens, and this one, it, I could, again, much like the Elite 43, hated this head sculpt, man. Not a big fan of this head sculpt. It was when they first started introducing True Effects, I'm pretty sure, and I didn't like the haircut. I felt like they made his hair way too short around this era. It's not a bad gear, but it's very similar to the Elite 53. I'm going to put this one... Oh, man. I'm going to put this one in Matt. I think it's a little bit better than the Elite 47, even though I can't stand this head sculpt. I really do not like this figure in, in terms of head sculpt. But the, the gear's okay. It's pretty much the Elite 43 with a, a worse head, but it does have a little bit more character in the gear. I mean, it could easily go in Barely Acceptable, maybe, but I'm going to put it in Matt for now. I, I like the gear. And the head sculpt, I've seen some people move it around. I'm trying to take it at base level, but I'm going to put it in Matt. I, I'm going to put it in Matt. I think it's, it's okay. And he also has kick pads. He does have kick pads compared to the traditional boots and he had the u.s championship but i'm pretty sure that elite 43 didn't it come with the nxt title it may not have came with the nxt championship but nonetheless that is what i'm going for elite 61 next up we have the elite 66 kevin owens and this one is a damn good figure i'm gonna put this one in the top of good figure uh is it better than the elite 101 i don't know maybe not i, I do like it a lot though the elite 66 they finally got like the arm size right i love the head sculpt i like the fight anyone gear the ko this is part of the yep 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 you know when him and Sam Sami Zayn were doing their thing there. The Elite uh, 63, Kevin, or Sami Zayn, that kind of pairs with this figure was also really good. But the Elite 66, Kevin Owens, I like that figure. I like that a lot. And it was actually the Chase figure in this set, which was the KO Mania. And it was KO Mania 3, I think it was. And it was basically just, just, just a change in shirt graphics. So I'm going to put that one. I don't like... Uh, the KO Mania is okay. Like, the KO Mania 3 shirt is uh, very cool. I love that he does that each year at WrestleMania. But I put the Fight Anyone over the KO Mania. I like the regular version better than the chase in this instance so i'm gonna go with that but yeah they're they're solid figures i like the arm size got the interchangeable hands yep 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 shirt good head sculpt good stuff going on right there i like that ko figure next up is the elite 80 kevin owens figure and this is the stun owens stun i actually liked this figure a whole lot but i will say i did not like the, they messed up the head sculpt a little bit here and i remember being upset about the head sculpt it's like they made his his beard and his hair like super light brown and it just didn't I don't know. It didn't look good, man. It was not good. I did not like it whatsoever. So, Elite 80 Kevin Owens. I want to say this is a good figure. I don't know if it's necessary. It's not meh. I wouldn't put it in meh. I'd say it is a good figure. I like it. I like the gear. I like that we have some some more... You get tattoos. You get some cool stuff going on. You get the briefcase. There's some cool things going on with this figure, but you do have to fix it up a little bit. But I don't know. I, I feel like maybe the Elite 53 is a little bit dated, but I don't know, man. That's a tough one right there. Those are very, very close for me, I think. Kevin Owens show and the Stun Owens stun. It's just very tough now when we get into like modern figures compared to older ones, even if that Kevin Owens showing was really damn good. But next up, we are diving into the Elite 91 Kevin Owens. And for this one, this is this is go buy it all day. Every single day of the week, it's actually the only Kevin Owens we have with white wrist tape, which is kind of like his baby face look, if you want to say. It's got the blue laces in the boots. I love the Stun the World shirt. I love the head sculpt. I like all the tattoos. It's double jointed. I still think they make his arms way too damn big. It's, it's much like Mick Foley and Mankind. They need, like, I want to say, what is it, the greatest 
Hits British Bulldog arms would be money, I think. It, it, the skin tone is a little off. You'd have to fix the skin tone, add the tattoos, but I think that arm shape is perfect for Kevin Owens. I need to make a post about that and uh, really push that out there to the Mattel people so that we can get some less defined arms, man. I mean, Kevin Owens and Mick Foley and Mankind are strong guys, but they're not eff they're not 5% body fat on their arms and then pudgy everywhere else or not as defined in other places. So it makes no sense to me, you know, and I want my Kevin Owens figures to be realistic, man. A lot of our other figures are realistic, so I don't think that that should be the case. They shouldn't be walking around with damn freaking bodybuilder arms, man. It just doesn't make sense. But next up, we have the Festival of Friendship Kevin Owens, and this one's going to be meh. It's, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess you could put it in good figure, but I don't know. It's it's the Elite 53 without wrist tape, so it's a promo gear Kevin Owens. It is a moment in time. It's basically the Elite 53 with long pants, like jogging pants or backstage gear, and no wrist tape. I mean, that's pretty much what it is, which is a moment in time. I don't really necessarily, necessarily think you need this, you know? I don't think it's a must-have figure in any stretch, but it is cool to have. You know, I thought it was an epic set. I loved that set. I love box sets. I love play sets and things of that that nature. So I do like the moment in time. I love that feud. I love that moment as a Kevin Owens fan and as a Chris Jericho fan, like all those different things. The why is my name on this? Very iconic moment of the year for sure. And just one of those moments you think back on fondly. So I do like the figure in all those aspects, but I don't know, man. Just just meh. Like, what do you, do you need it? I don't think so. I, I, I don't think so. Is it a good figure? I don't know. Legs were a bit stiff as well. So take it for what you will. But next up, we do have the WrestleMania 34 Kevin Owens figure. I am going to be putting this in the meh. I, I don't know. It's just, it is what it is, man. It's basically a worse version. I mean, I guess it's it's basically a, a repaint of the Elite 53, if you will. And KO Mania 2, it's okay. It's nothing to write home about, I don't think. I think that there are better Kevin Owens. The arms are still super jacked. It's a solid head sculpt. The gear's not the best of all time. And I know a lot of these figures are very, very similar. But, you know, you got to get into the meat and potatoes of it. you got to dive into and, and analyze these things so you can really break down what's the best and what's the worst between the Kevin Owens figures. And I'm trying my best here to kind of break it all down. I'm hoping that with his Ultimate Edition, we'll get a screaming head sculpt. We'll get a pissed off head sculpt. Sometimes they struggle with giving Kevin Owens, like, some derpy looks. So hopefully his Ultimate Edition won't be that. I hope that it's, you know, like the George the Animal Steel torso. You get some good articulation. You get his tattoos on there. You get two or three interchangeable shirts. Maybe we'll get a championship potentially. Uh, I just hope for different shirts. I would like to see, you know, his his duct tape NXT look. I had never seen that. There's some different shirts he's never worn. And actually, the last figure on this list is going to be the Survivor Series Elite, which is his red shirt from the British Bulldog Build-A-Figure Wave. And this one is Go Buy It. It's the only different colored shirt. It is pretty much a repaint of the Elite 91, but it's damn good. It's a very good, like, it's very aesthetically pleasing. You get the red shirt, you get the cool shorts, you get the good head sculpt, double jointed arms, and you can say what you will. I know that the arms are too massive. I know that they are, but they're double jointed, and uh, that's going to beat out single jointed arms every damn day of the week. So for that reason, I have the Survivor Series Elite going into the Go Buy It section, man. But that is every single Kevin Owens figure. I thought before we started, I didn't know how many we would have here, but we do have 12. There's 12 Kevin Owens Elites, and then hopefully soon we'll get that Ultimate Edition, and then we'll have 13, and maybe we can revisit this in a, in a year or two or maybe maybe more when we have more Kevin Owens figures, of course, but now be cra what would be crazy is if we got on here and broke down every single basic and, and battle pack of every single superstar. First of all, we'd be here all day depending on the superstar, but also there'd be a lot of garbage. There'd be so much garbage from some of these basic figures they've done in the past, but nonetheless, man, that is every single Kevin Owens figure, but I'm pretty happy with this, I think. I, I think this is fairly accurate right here. You might could raise and lower some others, but I think this is a pretty nice, ass nicely assessed batch of Kevin Owens figures right here, man. But that is pretty much going to wrap up our Kevin Owens ranking figures, man. I, I'd love to know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below on all of these things. And again, if you'd like to vote on these things, you can do so over on Patreon. And uh, chime in down below. What are some superstars you would like to see in the figure rankings? Don't forget, we have a long playlist on the channel. If you go to the playlist ranking WWE figures, lots of ranking videos, man. Tons of ranking videos over the years that we've done for superstars, for different customs, for rankings of, of different figures in each year and, and different things like that. So definitely check those out, man. But that is going to wrap up the video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on my ranking down in the comment section below. What would you change about mine and what do you think is the best Kevin Owens figure or elite 
of all time, man. But I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok on My Damn Toys. If you will, leave a like on the video. Try to get this thing to 500 likes. If it's above 500, try to push it to 6 and so forth. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.